I don't believe this team is anywhere close to what people may call good, but it is featuring two monsters that people have told me they want to see, uh, Glacieron and Zeusworm. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to throw in as many Stun Absorber monsters as I can and hope I can pull off something cool with Roar while also using Glacieron in the front line. I've got Draco Rosa with the Purifying Mist to hopefully set up some stunning charges. I put Scarlet Guard in the front line because I'm really worried about a Ryzen, Raisin, and other than that, we're going to hope for the best. All right, looks like we found our first opponent, and we are going against... Um... Uh... Okay. Um... Well, uh... I guess I'm gonna go ahead and, um, stun killer. And then we're gonna go ahead and, um... Instant toxic kill. <gasps> Yo! Oh my gosh, there is no way I just won that battle. I am a god. All right, well, there you go. We got our win. Uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Of course I'm kidding. I, I've never seen anything like that before. Honestly, I've... Okay, well, we're going to see if we can get an actual win this time because I don't think I'm going to count that. I just, you know, something about going up against a single meta low, my entire team against one monster... Some about that doesn't quite feel right. So we're going to see if we can get an actual battle. All right, we found our second opponent, or I guess you could count it as our first. TNC, Chaos, F2P, free to play, I'm assuming. But, you know, maybe they just put that in a name. So he's going to, right off the bat, Flame Eater, my Scarlet Guard. I'm looking at Death Revenge or a Dragon. Hopefully, he skipped behind me. Hopefully, he won't use Dusk so that I can keep the stealth on Glacier on. Okay, perfect. He didn't. So I'm going to Stunning Charge or a Dragon, and it's going to... Right, it's going to get absorbed. Okay. So, looks like there's not much I can do with Glacier on, which is unfortunate, considering, you know, I was trying to make a featured video about him. He's probably going to Purifying Mist. Yep, yep. Um, Soul Exchange would give me a Scarlet Guard. Not worth it. I'll just take away their stealth. Um, go ahead and... Yeah, no point in taking turns. I'll just try and keep that Tortegeist out of play as much as possible. He can't really do much with his Kanisha gun. I guess he could, I don't know, try like a Bloodthirst on Glacieron. Yeah, okay, he did. Um, but that's not going to kill, obviously. Dang it. Okay, I was trying to get the Aura Dragon, but it didn't work. And it looks like he got a Shark Rex next in line. But that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and charge my Blood Crave on Draco. It looks like that Revenge Mist also, which is good. Soul Exchange here would give me a Goldoid. Mm, I don't think that's worth killing any of my monsters. I'll just Purify all again. He'll probably Purifying Mist. Maybe. Oh. Oh, okay. So he just killed my Glacieron. Well, that's too bad. Um, <laughs> so much for the feature. Um, he'll probably piercing blow. Okay, piercing blow the Valzerain. He's still alive. Um, gosh, that Kanisha gun's scary. What, do, what, what can I do here? Um, yeah, so I think if I put the Aura Dragon to hold ground, then I can double Blood Crave those two and pray. Yo, okay, that was nice. That was nice. So we don't have to worry about Aura Dragon anymore. He's going to go ahead and kill my Angel Lion. Zeus Worm is going to put Tortegeist completely out of play, so I don't really have to worry about that. But with all the protectors, doing a Time Strike double isn't worth it, so I'll just exit plan. Shark Rex, let's see. Yeah, Valzerain's not going to be doing much. Maybe RNG? Okay, that was nice, putting the Chromera to sleep like that. Good luck waking him up with your Musa Shoid, because he's poison immune. Sorry, bro. Um, yeah, not much he can do right now. He's pretty much protector locked, but there also isn't much I can do right now because I don't have much in the way of raw. I have Shark Rex, 
But I mean, Drake Rosa's got double blood crave. Tiger Gore can do nothing. Um, but I'll just go ahead and take out the Musa Shoid. Like, all right, well, that was unfortunate that Valzerain absorbed the stun. He'll probably confident strike Tiger Gore. Oh, the shield on Cremera. Okay, that's pretty smart. So now I can't dream hunt him. Yep, and the kill on Tyragore. And now I've got Poseidon. Hmm. Getting around that Goldoid is going to be annoying. Because there isn't much like... Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. So Grimoris is gone. I'm just going to take out the Goldoid now. Take off his shield. Albacon. Hmm. I don't want to time strike double because then I'll lose my Zeus Worm. Ah, oh, jeez. Um... Okay, okay, okay. So, how about this? I'll skip, and then I'll take out... Oh, jeez. I'll take out Albacon. Yeah, I was worried that wouldn't kill, um, but Poseidon's a beast. <laughs> so, now... Okay, this won't kill the Tortoise, but it will kill the Valzerain, and Abyss Soldier, he's focused, right? Because of the bond. So that was perfect. I'm going to go ahead and charge Blood Fury on my Zeus Worm. Seer Guard, there's no way he can kill Abyss Soldier Poseidon. It's a water monster with 200% defense buff. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll skip behind this Chromera and take out Nultron and Seer Guard with, um, with my double blood crave. Hopefully... Okay, that brings in Scorpia Geist and Goldoid. Um, let's see. Goldoid's obviously annoying, but not going to do anything for him, really. Oh, and it just died to poison. Okay. Um, he's probably gonna Poison Eater my Draco Rosa and no Toxic Strike. Oh, duh, duh, because Tortogeist is on the field. So Scorpiogeist is more or less useless. That's awesome. Um, so here, hmm, yeah, I'll just let the Chromera get a couple more seconds behind and... Hmm. He's got that... Oh my gosh, are you serious? Those 20 seconds made the difference of him waking up. If this kills Poseidon... Oh, he didn't even kill Poseidon. Okay. That's fine. I can handle that. Oh, okay, I'm gonna roar. I'm gonna roar, and we're gonna... We're gonna just pray that my stun counters and stun converters get the turn first. No? Okay. That's fine, because Scorpio Geist can't do a double kill. So he's gonna kill my Scorpio Geist. And I have a Freeze Cobra, so Vengeance... So that was bad. <laughs> but it's fine, because I can kill his Chromera now. I've got a uh, Blood Fury charge on my Zeus Worm, so I can kill the Nectarion. Hopefully, Freeze Cobra gets a turn before Gorgadrake, please. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we're going to Detox Strike him, and... No, okay, it didn't kill Freeze Cobra, which is unfortunate. So I can't Vengeance, but uh, Powered has that Power Boost from being with Poseidon, so I'm going to kill Padronorca right now. Scorpio guys still can't, like, kill two people, so he'll probably go for Nectarion. Yep, okay. This Draco Rose is scary, but I should be okay. Yeah, he's going to kill my two poison monsters, but now I get all the turns. Um, I'm going to give turn to Powered and take out Freeze Cobra. Please, Power Slash Kill. Please. Okay, that was clutch. That was awesome. So now all he's got is his Aura Dragon clones at the end, but they're all going to be poisoned. Oh, and perfect. He's got a Shark Egg next. I'm just going to start getting kills on Death Gazer, and then Solo Vengeance is going to kill Drake Rosa. Shark Rex is going to die. Kanisha Gun's going to die. Oh, this is perfect. Leaving that Tortogeist was... He's literally been there since the start of the battle. S considering I didn't have any stun control, that worked so well. So what's he going to do? He'll have to Toxic Strike one of them, but he's not going to get enough turns. I would I would go for Powered, but I think it's probably a 128 Toxic Strike, so Poseidon's just going to get a turn anyway. I win this. There's nothing he can do. Well, that was sick. Man, I'm so smart. Okay, he did take out Poseidon. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and Bloodthirst, and then this Solo Assassinate's going to kill because he's got the... Um, He's got the Abyss Soldier buff. So that was a pretty good game. That was awesome. That was fun.
yeah, that was that was cool. This team, I don't know, it looks kind of bad, but it just worked <laughs> twice. I guess if you count the the 1v1 or 1v16, I guess, Metalo. But yeah, um Roar actually kind of came in clutch there. But I mean, it it wasn't exactly what I was expecting, what I was planning, but it was cool. It worked out. Um I might make another video on these two guys just to try and get a little more um a little more showcased of them cuz that's what uh some people wanted but I don't know I'm pr I'm pretty happy with with this video I think those those two mainly the one battle was fun and it worked out and I won so yeah thank you everybody so much for watching for real I'm ending the video this time and I'll see you in the next one